Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. It is me, Princess Green, and I am back. How is everybody doing? I am having a fantastic um, day, and I decided to share a little bit of my cooking. Um, so, I decided I wanted to have some baked chicken wings. <laughs> yep. We're going to have some baked chicken wings tonight, and we're also going to have some beautiful Romano tomatoes. I have some gorgeous um, Romano tomatoes here, and uh, I'm going to just keep it really simple, and I'm going to do the baked wings along with the Romano tomatoes. And what I did with these wings is I have a just a simple jar of um, ranch dressing and um, sometimes I will uh, pour some olive oil over um, my meats before I season them um, but I don't have any olive oil so I took the ranch salad dressing and um, poured it right over top of the chicken wings and I have um, the little flats and the little legs and then after I poured a good heaping amount of um, the ranch uh, dressing over top of the chicken wings, um, I mixed them really good and then I went back in over them with just a little bit of salt and pepper and a garlic and Parmesan cheese um, seasoning packet. So um, these are garlic and Parmesan cheese wings with um, ranch dressing in place of the olive oil and then I took some pre-cut um, red and green peppers and onions and just mixed it right down in there. So I'm actually getting ready to cover these with some foil and I'm going to let them slow cook in the oven on 350 and I'll get my tomatoes sliced up and we'll have some baked wings and um, some sliced tomato. So, um, my baked chicken wings are in the oven, and here I have some beautiful um, Romano tomatoes, and the inside of them is just really nice. They are more of a like a hearty tomato. Um, they hold up well if you want to slice them down um, for sandwiches and things like that, and they have a, a really pretty shape to them. They're almost shaped like a heart um, and so I got um, four Romano tomatoes and one of them was actually um, spoiled so I had to discard it but here's the beautiful tomatoes and what I'm gonna do is um, cut them down um, to show the heart and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper on them and put them in the refrigerator to be nice and cold to go along with the um, hot wings when they come out the oven. Alrighty, and here are my beautiful um, Romano tomatoes. They're all cut down. Um, I usually slice the top off and then I leave the bottom on. Um, and that's what gives it that, <laughs> that beautiful heart shape. Um, and I'm going to just put these in the refrigerator and let them get nice and cold. And all I did was douse just a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Nothing more um, delicious and um then a nice cold piece of uh, tomato with a little bit of salt and pepper. That is a glorious southern staple. All right, all right. Well, hi everybody. We are halfway through. <laughs> 
cooking these wings together. Um, so um, I cook the wings low and slow um, in the oven to just kind of um, get the juices to rise up in them. And then I went on ahead and I, I drained um, some of the um, drippings off. I went on ahead and drained some of the drippings off because the ranch dressing will make them really nice and juicy. And you can take that um, drippings and make a gravy <coughs> and put it over mashed potatoes or rice. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let these brown now. And so um, they are par cooked. Um, they are par cooked and they look pretty good so far and so I just can't wait to see what they look like when they come out. See you soon. All right, all right. Hi everybody. It is me, Princess Green, and the wings are done. Today I decided I wanted to um, just do some baked um, chicken wings and I found a couple of pair of packs of wings and they have the flats so there's the chicken wing flats and then they also had the little drumettes so this is two little packs of chicken wings and they're the flats and the drumettes they were already cut up and um, I did them um, in the oven in a nice little tin pan for easy cleanup and these were cooked down with some ranch dressing um, and then some nice spices and tonight we're just gonna have just some simple little baked wings and they're lightly brown y'all I didn't really like brown um, as brown as they could have been but I don't want them to dry out I actually want to enjoy some of the juices down in there along with the red and green bell peppers and the onions and um, I'm having it these wings alongside some uh, tomatoes and so I have the beautiful Romano tomatoes here and the tomatoes um, have been in the refrigerator and they're nice and cold and a nice warm wing with a, uh, sorry, <laughs> a slice of cold tomato um, is absolutely delicious. And then what I did was um, the spice that's on them, it is good, but just in case um, anyone in the family wants to have a little sauce, because I did just like a nice little baked wing without any type of sauces, I found these cute little packets of um, wing sauce and this one is buttery buffalo and this one is hickory brown and it's a cute little um, single preparation so I grabbed a couple of those um, in case we decide we want to have a little sauce on our wings and you don't have to put it all over them and didn't have to buy a big bottle but um yeah so yeah that's what's going on over here just um, relaxing and resting and showing a little um, love to the family with a nice pan of hot wings. Nice pan of wings. And some beautiful tomato. Y'all have a wonderful day. It is me, Princess Green. I love coming to you when I get a chance and I also enjoy watching all of my other friends cook as well. I really enjoy your posts and your videos. Keep cooking ladies. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye.
beautiful light dinner.